you. We are also joined from Burlington, Vermont, by Arnie Gunderson, nuclear industry executive for uh, decades before blowing the whistle on the company he worked for in 1990 when he found inappropriately stored radioactive material, now chief engineer at Fairwinds Associates. Um, you are concerned, uh, Arnie Gunderson, and quoted in many of the papers today from the Washington Post to the New York Times about the similarity of the plant in Japan with the plant in Vermont, Vermont Yankee. Can you explain? Uh, yeah, the plant in Japan was um, 40 years old in March. The plant in Vermont is 39 years old in, in March. So they're about a year apart. Same vendor, same conceptual design. Actually, the plant in Japan was built to withstand uh, uh, was 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 better built, was stronger built because of earthquake resistance in Japan. So the, um, the the American reactor is in fact weaker than the Japanese reactor. But conceptually, there's 23 of them, including the one here in Vermont, but also Pilgrim right next to Boston, and um, and also Oyster Creek, which is in New Jersey, that are um, old plants of the same vintage. The Japanese reactors made by General Electric, your plant in Vermont made by General Electric. Your plant, Arnie Gunderson, in Vermont is made by It is made by General Electric and it's also um a Mark I containment, which is the same containment that's uh uh, that's causing problems right now in in uh, in Japan. This containment is the smallest containment uh, ever built. And even in 1972, the NRC had concerns about this containment. And um, we've gotten um, memos through FOIA that indicate in 1972, the NRC thought that perhaps this particular design should never have been built. So it's a it, it's not something that popped up like a mushroom last month, but it's uh, it's been known to the industry since um, 1972 that this is a weak link in the design. What's interesting in Vermont is you have a governor, Governor Shumlin, who wants to shut down the Vermont Yankee. Um, and he, when he was a state legislator, represented the particular area that Vermont Yankee is in. But Arnie Gunderson, can you explain to us more what is happening in Japan right now? The issue of partial meltdown versus full meltdown, the fuel rods being exposed and the danger. Yeah. Um, when the reactor shuts down, what that means is that the uranium atom sp doesn't split anymore, but these pieces that are left behind are still radioactive, and they generate about 5% of the reactor's heat. And you've got to dump that heat for as long as a year or two or three. So um, what's happened is that there has been no way to remove that heat, and uh, that's caused the nuclear fuel to hit 2200 degrees. At that point, the nuclear fuel um, begins to suck up the oxygen atoms in water, water is H2O, and that gives off hydrogen gas. So the hydrogen explosions that we're seeing at two of these reactors are an indication that the water is being stripped of its oxygen and creating hydrogen. So the cores are uncovered, and when the cores are uncovered, unfortunately, that's what happens. Now. The, the problem in the long haul is that now that these cores have been uncovered and there's no way to cool them, um, they will have to continuously vent these uh, containments. Um, and as the time said, you're not going to get back into these villages in the next week or two. It could easily be months, if not years, before these villages can be um, inhabited again. The effects of radiation on humans, Ernie Gunderson? Uh, it's too early to tell, but uh, as your previous uh, speaker said, you know, they they test it. They talk about 160 people that have been contaminated. That's all they've tested. Basically, everything they're testing is coming up contaminated in that inner couple of miles around the plant. Um, you've got uh, radiation being detected, detected 60 miles to the north on a Navy helicopter, 100 miles to the east on a Navy aircraft carrier. So it's not um, it's not clear to me that that cloud is not looping around and and um, and affecting Japan. And of course, uh, I think the worst case, as as Mr. Camp suggested, is that the um, the fuel pools on these reactors that sit very high and they're um, uh, they're designed just like um, uh, the Vermont Yankee one, if the fuel pools are not cooled, um, they will melt down, in which case we're going to have Chernobyl on steroids. Mm. Uh